This is the Genmitsu L8 40 watt laser engraving machine. A fully enclosed plug and play engraving machine designed with speed in mind. In this sponsor review, we'll be taking a look at the Genmitsu L8 40 watt laser engraving machine and accessories and putting them to the test with different materials. So, let's get started. Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. First, let's unbox the unit. The great news is that it comes pre-assembled, so you'll only need to figure out where to set it up around your shop and plug in a few components. You'll notice the orange tinted acrylic encasing. This acts as a filter for the laser beam and allows you to see through without needing special eye protection. This is a great feature to have, especially in a home environment where you might have others walking around your shop, not necessarily aware that you're running the laser. First, let's take a look at our honeycomb laser bed. This is very nice quality, all one piece and fully assembled. It's especially nice that it has measurements on the sides. It will help us position our materials accordingly. On the inside, we find a few items. First is a sample pack of materials you can use to test out the machine and get a good feel for it. We have our easy start guide and a few more material samples. Everything is very nicely padded to avoid damage during shipment. Genmitsu has included a smoke exhaust telescopic pipe to vent the fumes either outside a window or use it with a filter like we'll see later. And this is our air assist. We have our power adapter and our air assist hose. And finally, we have a little toolkit to help you get started. On this next box, we have our 40 watt module. Some features here are the laser window, which also helps protect your eyes. We have a stepper on the side so you can focus your laser depending on the thickness of the material. And that is all for our L8. We'll just have to install the laser put together the air assist and connect it to our computer. And that is all. Now, we did receive a few other accessories from Genmitsu to test out. These are sold separately from the machine and you may or may not need them depending on the types of projects you'll be doing. We have the MD18 Laser Engraving Chuck Roller Kit. This helps you to secure things like jewelry or tumblers. We have a few attachments for different size items. We also have the MD19 laser engraving rotary roller kit. This one's a little bit more basic and works well with cylindrical items. Our last accessory is the MD13 smoke purifier slash fume extractor. This is definitely very nice to have if you don't have an option to vent outside. It has an impressive 99.97 purification rate, ensuring your workplace remains free from harmful contaminants. It hooks up to the exhaust on the back of the machine and filters all the fumes. The filter is replaceable and each lasts about 300 hours depending on the type of materials you're cutting or engraving. And this is all set up. Let's turn it on and take a closer look. In the front, we have a dial to control the speed and our on button. We also have a filter indicator that lets you know when it's time to change your filter. All right, so we have our full setup complete. This is a pretty sleek machine. We have several highlights before moving on to our test. The first thing to note is the speed. This is a super fast machine with a top speed of 40,000 millimeters per minute. You of course have to adjust the speed and power based on your materials, but that is very impressive. You can potentially do more faster. The second feature is the light burn ready camera, which helps you center your jobs on the material. This helps you avoid framing mistakes and save you time. 
We also pretty much have all the safety features we're seeing with top end machines. We have an emergency stop, a physical lock to prevent kids or curious adults from using it inappropriately, and a tilt detector and a flame detector. So let's start our test. We'll start with the toughest test first, metal. We'll do an array of metal blocks at one millimeter per second, 100% power and one pass, which is coincidentally the most power, slower speed we can get. The goal is to see which of the metals the Genmitsu L8 will mark. As you can see, iron was marked successfully. Unfortunately, zinc was not marked. We also had an aluminum block and unfortunately this was not marked. We were a little surprised by this one but titanium was marked and you can see this very nice white line. And our last one was copper. Unfortunately this one was not marked. So we have a few winners, titanium and iron. There is a possibility that multiple passes may make a difference on the outcome but for our initial testing, we're happy with these two. Now that we know that iron works, let's try engraving an iron coin with Space Age Tech. As mentioned earlier, one of the nice things about this machine is that it has a light burn ready camera. You can center your design on the engraving object, saving you framing time and trial and error. Since our iron coin turned out really well, let's try a stainless steel coin. This one is rose gold colored. We'll use the same design for good luck. This laser engraver has an accuracy of 0.01 millimeters, so it's not surprised that we're getting such great results. Very crisp, really nice. So far we're doing pretty good on metals. Let's try a brass coin this time. We did not test this metal initially, so we're just crossing our fingers here. Of course, we always recommend you do a materials test for any material you're planning on using. So if this goes horribly wrong, learn from our mistakes. And this coin in brass turned out pretty well. Sometimes we do get lucky. Now, if you checked out our Genmitsu 4040 Pro Max CNC review, you might have noticed that we did a cutout of a titanium sheet. For this go around, we'll be engraving that cutout. When we did our initial engraving test, we ran this at one millimeter per second and 100% power, and we got a really nice white line. So we did a material test here to see what range of colors we can expect. As you can see here, it ranges from dark gray to white. So a lot of room to work with this. For our next test, we'll be using the four millimeter carbon fiber cutout we made with the 4040 Pro Max. We're going to use the engraver to label our part. And as you can see, it comes out really, really nice. Another one of our CNC test pieces is this acrylic coin holder. Since this is a diode laser with a 455 nanometer laser wavelength, we are not expecting it to mark this material without some type of coating or preparation. However, our test results are showing otherwise. While the result is not perfect, there is an opportunity to fine tune the settings for this one inch thick acrylic. For our next test, we'll try three inch thick EVA foam. Again, this is from the 4040 Pro Max CNC review and we can see the test didn't go well. So let's see what the L8 laser engraver can do. We got a very nice and very deep engraving of the space age tech. Now let's try to cut this material as well. We still have a chance that it might melt or fail. But we actually did pretty well and cut through the EBA foam like butter. This result highlights the use case for CNC versus laser engraving. What works for one machine might not work for another and vice versa. You can see the L8 did a wonderful job engraving. All right, now that we've done metals, let's move on to MDF. We'll first do a materials test and then we'll engrave a Celtic knot. 
And here are the results for our engraving. We are very pleased with the engraving. It's almost a 3D type of effect. Very nice. From the materials test, you can see there's a wide range of speed and power that we can work with. For our last test, we'll try our rotary tools. First up is the MD-18 chuck. This chuck secures the item with a jaw for various objects like tumblers, spheres, rings, etc. The angle can also be adjusted up to 30 degrees. We are engraving this tumbler and we want to see that the laser removes the top coating, revealing the stainless steel underneath. So first we're running an engraving test, and then we'll move on to engraving a design. And here are our results. First, uh, let's see our materials test. You can see that there's a pretty wide range that we can work with to achieve the results we want. And the pattern doesn't really let us appreciate it as much, but you can see the design engraved very well. Our second rotary is the MD-19 roller. This is a little more geared towards cylindrical objects. It can accommodate objects with larger diameters than the M18. And the rolling block support is adjustable from 36 millimeters to 80 millimeters. Since this tumbler is a solid color, we can really see the design pop. Very clean laser engraving. And those were all our tests. Overall, the Genmitsu L8 was super easy to use and get started. We were able to use the camera feature to center our pieces with light burn. And we had some outstanding results with materials like iron, stainless steel, EVA foam, and MDF. By being fully enclosed along with the filter, it makes it easy to fit into your workspace and not having to worry about fumes or accidentally damaging your eyes by looking into the laser. And Genmitsu has other accessories like the chuck and roller to help you bring your creations to life. So what did you think? Let us know in the comments. If you're ready to get your own Genmitsu L8 laser engraver, check out the links in the description. We'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe, it really helps our channel grow.